Can it get any better than this? All right, we got a lot to talk about. Uh, updates around the whole garden. Everything's just grown a little bit more. If you watched last week's video, everything's grown a little bit more. The tomato's a little bigger, pepper's a little bigger. Uh, but we're gonna talk about the squash plants and we're gonna talk about this container, really. Uh, because some of you guys saw a little short that I put out and I kind of showed how I made this but I'm gonna go over it a little more in detail tell you why I'm using this uh, pros and cons and then you guys tell me you know if you think this is a good idea I'm using it basically as a replacement for the buckets now the buckets work awesome and we've got the bucket garden set up we've got the tomatoes and peppers growing out there but like I said what we're doing in with all these experiments is just removing excuses and and trying to help everyone so you know we we get things down as easy and as cheap as possible we're doing like taking garden towers and we were building you know 40 or 50 dollar ones with buckets that we went up and got uh, the food grade ones the white food grade five gallon buckets uh, at Home Depot and Lowe's were running about eight bucks and the lids were three something so it's coming up to about 12 bucks a piece then people out there said you know go to firehouse so we got the firehouse bucket, and those were only three bucks with the lid that's awesome so we're building a little tower for nine bucks you know 12 bucks if you go about four high but then people are saying smells like pickles I can't get this pickle smell out I like the pickle smell next someone said go to Walmart and we go up to Walmart and they were selling us the five gallon ones from their deli, you know, the used ones that had frosting and stuff in it for a dollar with the lid. Now you can't beat that. You got a tower for three bucks, right? So if you can go get the, the buckets, fine. You know, some people said, you know, they don't want it to look like they got a bunch of buckets all over their yard. So I was looking for something a little different. And I found this at Target. Like I said, it's uh, five dollars with the lid that's a pretty good deal this says it holds it's about four gallons but the way that i do it even with the five gallon bucket you know i drill a hole in the side it only holds three and a half gallons so this is four gallons and when i drill a hole in here it's still only holding a little over two so about two and a half gallons but if you wanted to use these if you were on your porch where rain's not getting in the top you can always put your plants in the top of this. You can't stack them up, but then you'd get five or four gallons in here rather. But I'm just going with about two and a half. Now, uh, you could use it plain like this, but some people have also asked us why I was putting the Mylar bag in. And if you guys watched my other little short video that I made, I showed how I put the plants in here and I put a Mylar bag. I just filled it with nutrients and dropped it inside of here. And I had holes drilled in here just like we do in the downspouts. And all I did was take my razor blade and poke a hole in here. And just like you're putting your plant with your downspout in here, the only difference is you take the roots and you put it through the Mylar bag and the nutrients are inside of here. Now to make it a little easier to handle so this doesn't like move around on you, I fill up the outside in between the plastic wall and in between this with regular water. And then when that's filled up and this is in here, this is kind of like buoyant instead of this being a, you know, two or three gallons of water and if you tip this you know that that's a lot of weight going back and forth and if you fill the outside of it with water so that all of it is covered then this is basically like a, a bag just floating around in there right I like these because they're food bins it's stackable bin and on here the bottom you can't see it on here because it's not printed it's it, it's imprinted on here it says BPA free. Even though this is still plastic, this is meant for food. The other thing I like about this is that even though it's very thin, it totally blocks out the light. So there's no light getting in here. Evidently these bags will hold the temperature a little bit longer too. So I'm still working on all that. Like I said, we're just getting into the 90s. Uh, this week was fantastic. We're uh, high 80s and uh, lows around 60. So fantastic, like spring-like weather. We're gonna enjoy it when we can. I know summertime's coming, and when it starts to warm up, we'll start to talk about the, the heat and uh, the little hydroponic chiller we got out there. We're gonna talk about that a lot. But that's the reason why I use these, and I'm practicing with this, is just, this is just another uh, experiment. You know, everybody doesn't have to do this, but uh, we've got them hanging up with plants growing in them. 
it's a neat little experiment. That's come along good too. We'll, we'll talk about that one next week. So I like these. They, they come like that. These also, these labels come off like really easy, like all in one piece. So I like that. That's like an, if you're doing a lot of these in your yard and you haven't sit there and peel and scrape and scrub, you know, when they come off like that, that's awesome. Now the holes, if you notice, if you watch, these are all experiments. So like the first one, I put one hole on each side because I figured just like our bucket, you know, there's a shadow side, right? So I was figuring I was going to go ahead, grow plants on each side and then the back hole. I was going to leave that open so if I wanted to put another hole in into the bag and maybe a tube then that way if I didn't want to lift this off or if I have them stacked up I could get into the back and add nutrients so I set these inside the hydroponic chiller where the water comes up on it and I didn't stack one on top because if this one's you know staying cool like that this one up here is not I, I'm just testing out the chiller right now so I'm not stacking it up so when I need to go and fill this one up I just pull the lid off and this one kind of snaps on here and it comes off pretty easy and I unfold the mylar bag and I pour a little bit of nutrients in it close it up that way I can kind of inspect what's going on in there not like our tomatoes and our peppers that's gonna be a surprise I can kind of see inside a little bit but it's gotten like a jungle so I don't even know what's going on I'm just keep maintaining the level and and when we harvest all of that I'll open up the buckets and we'll take a look at the roots and, and all of that. But right now, this one, I can open it up. We can look at the roots. We can see there's no algae growing inside where the roots are. And you can see I've got a little bit of water on the outside. The water on the outside doesn't have any nutrients. So if we do get a little bit of algae growth, I don't think it's going to be very bad because algae won't have any nutrients to grow. So that's uh, another added benefit. Now, as far as the squash growing in here, that's just blowing my mind. So I just bought a couple packs of squash plants at the nursery and we put them in here. The ones that I put in here and set them up, they just got big like within a couple of weeks. You guys have been watching the updates, right? They're really big and they're, they have blossoms on them. Uh, if I was just eating squash blossoms, I had about a dozen of them this morning. I could have just went out there and picked. I don't have any squash on there yet. There's a couple of female ones that just came up, female. You know with the flower and most of them were male and they haven't like flowered at the same time so I couldn't like hand pollinate them but hopefully that happened you know in the near future here but if not I'm just gonna call this an early win just because it's grown to mature size it's a nice healthy plant well there's a couple of them here there's right there there's four of them they're they're healthy plants they're blooming I can see male and female blossoms and if they got pollinated at the right time if i had like a garden full of these we'd probably have a whole bunch of uh, squash so we'll see if we get any out of that and like i said but i'm going to call this an early win as far as if i can take it to this point i've only filled these up and it, and it's not a lot remember i said you open it up and you just kind of maintain that level right and just pour a little bit more in so i poured about a quart and a half in twice and that's about all i've done ever since we put these plants in to the size that they've grown and I haven't done anything else and that's what I love about the system is that you know we, we put them in there most plants you put them in the ground you're gonna have to worry about them day to day to day to day right and this one they're growing and it's just kind of blowing my mind just like the tomatoes and peppers we're just letting those go too so I, I want to show you guys like I said on this channel I do things to the extreme as far as cheap and easy if, if I put something in I don't want to do a whole lot of work to it I don't want to check the the EC levels I don't want to come in and check pH and adjust pH and everything if you guys can do that and you have the time everything you can do if you want to stick a little bubbler in there anything else you can do is an added benefit but I want to show you guys the very basics of what you can do that's why I take it to the extreme so that everyone can get out there and try it out I don't want people saying well I can't get a bubbler or I don't want to run tubes everywhere or I don't have time you know the the all the EC equipment and all, all the pH up and pH down I don't have time to be doing that and adjusting everything I'm doing it so that just about everyone can get in there get started if you want to do all those other things that's fine but I'm not gonna do it so uh, if if I can do it if I can grow plants to this stage then you can too 
and hopefully I'm going to be the dumbest gardener in the world and if I can take it to this point at least then you guys can do that and maybe even a little better. Alrighty, we'll talk to you guys later. Lift Inspire. Keep on growing and be the change. We'll catch you next time.